I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. What is going on, guys? It's been a minute, and I have no excuse. I just haven't put out a video. We're changing that. We're starting the bulk. If you follow me on Instagram. You know I said I was gonna start bulking. It is July 1st and we officially started. It's about time I make a drastic change and start putting on weight. It is very dark and I apologize, but it is 9, 9.30 p.m. I just got done my workout, my second workout of the day. Five and a half mile run outside. Dude, so I just started 75 hard if you don't know what 75 hard is it is a program to toughen up mentally and physically but mostly mental um, it was designed by Andy Frisell he is a CEO of a supplement company he's built multiple businesses he's like a couple million dollars billion dollars I don't know I forget but he designed this program for 75 days you have to do five critical tasks and I just finished my last task of the day which is the second workout of the day two 45 minute workouts one of the tasks one has to be outdoors it doesn't matter if it's raining it doesn't matter if it's snowing obviously you got to be safe but I had to finish my outdoor workout to complete day one. Second, progress photo, which can go under the radar pretty easily if you don't pay attention to the small details. Taking one progress photo a day, this could be for yourself. It could be for accountability on social media. I'm not gonna do it every day, but I might keep you guys updated. Second, so that's the second one. Third one. Follow a strict diet. I'm talking like, it doesn't have to be like the same thing every day, but follow a diet, follow a meal plan, follow something where you don't, you don't cheat. No cheat meals, no alcohol, nothing. Me, I'm bulking, so I'm eating a lot. I'm eating 3,500 calories because the goal is 180. I'm at 164. So that's the third one. Fourth, it's drinking a gallon a day, a gallon of water a day. That's 128 ounces. I used to do it religiously when I was on prep for my competition, but I've gotten out of the habit. So that's gonna be a tough one for me. We did it today, but getting back into it, drinking a gallon of water every single day is not gonna be easy. Then 10 pages of reading a personal development book, not like Harry Potter, not a fiction book, personal development, something on business, leadership, motivation. Right now I'm reading, I'll show you guys when I get back to my place, I'm reading a book called Spartan Up or The Spartan Way. I don't know, I forget. This is pretty bad. Um, but it's by the founder of Spartan, the Spartan races. Joe DeSena, who is a maniac. He is very intense, very driven, and his goal, it's kind of like my goal, is to get people up, get people off the couch, get people living a healthier lifestyle, and just to toughen up mentally. It's a perfect book for me to read right now while I'm doing this challenge. And yeah, so day one is done. We're about to do this for 75 days. I want to take you along my journey and it's time to level up dude it's time to take it up a notch and i think this challenge is going to do just that did i have to come out here and run for 45 minutes no but part of the challenge is two 45 minute workouts one has to be outdoors i didn't do it yet so i could have made all the excuses in the world I could have failed on the first day. That's the thing. If you don't do one of these critical tasks, 
I'm talking, if you don't take a progress photo, if you cheat on your diet, if you do one thing wrong, you gotta start over. I don't care if you're on, it doesn't matter if you're on day 50, day 74. If you don't drink a gallon of water in that one day, you fail, you gotta start over. So basically the goal of this challenge, the purpose of this challenge is to delete every single excuse that comes into your head as to why you can't do something. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing it. I have to open up the gate to get back into my apartment. So I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, I'm back. But as I was saying, I'm proud of the progress I've made. I'm proud of the physique I have. I'm proud of how I live my life and how I carry myself. But I know there's a lot more work to do. And if anything's gonna push me to that next level of mental toughness, of uh, time management, just being the best version of myself, this is, this is the challenge, this is what it's gonna take. And if I'm gonna inspire and try to inspire people to live their lives being the best version of themselves, then I gotta take it up a notch. I gotta keep being that example for people. And some people will say this challenge is too intense, too, too much, like a lot of work. And that's why it's not for everybody. It's not meant to be for everybody, but for those who are serious about just improving in every aspect of their life, this is what it's gonna do. This is the challenge that I've been thinking about doing for a while. And I know it's going to be hard, difficult. I'm not gonna be able to go out to eat. I'm gonna have to just completely kind of zone in and focus more. Pay attention to the little details every single day. And I'm willing to do it because I know it's going to make me better. And I'm not even close to my truest potential. Like the fact that I worked a 12, 12 hour day, 13 hour day, got to the gym around 7.30, left around eight, yeah. And got home, literally changed and then ran five and a half miles. And I felt like I could have kept going, but one, it's like 9.30 at night. Two, I don't need to. I gotta eat dinner and cook some more food for tomorrow. So this is just the beginning. I'm not even close to being satisfied with where I'm at, with my physique, with like, I know I can always improve. And this is what it's gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it up a notch and really, really test what I'm capable of. So that's that, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. More motivation coming soon. I know I've been slacking, but we're gonna get better. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep pushing. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are crushing whatever goals you have set for yourself. I hope you're staying motivated, working hard, because it is officially the second half of the year. We are in July. Six months have gone by. And if you're not where you're wanting to be, you have another half of the year, I suggest you take it up a notch. You choose to strive and you just keep, keep on plugging away, keep on pushing. Whatever goals you have set for yourself, write them down. Do what you need to do. Put them on a sticky note. Stick them on the mirror. Stick them on the fridge, the kitchen fridge. Put them on your nightstand. Somewhere you're going to see it every single day. Just to remind yourself why you're doing it, what you're doing it for. And make sure your goals have true meaning. And 
they're gonna be something you're gonna wanna work for because it's gonna take a lot of work. It's gonna take a lot of effort. It's not gonna be easy. It's a journey. You're supposed to be enjoying the process and every single step of the way is a learning curve. It's gonna be challenging. It's gonna test you mentally and physically. But you can do anything you set your mind to. And that's what you gotta keep telling yourself. I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Day one, baby, here we go. What? Oh man, I just tripped. What's going on, guys? I'm not, I'm not deleting that either. I ain't perfect. You can see that.